All right, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Hiking with Pete. First, I wanna thank everyone for subscribing and watching these videos. All I do is these videos for hiking and just to share with you the adventure and that sort of thing. I'm at the top of Ultra Peak right now, which is right near Wickenburg, Arizona. So if you fly and you head uh, west of Phoenix, right, um, a little bit northwest, uh, there's Wickenburg, just right outside of Wickenburg. I'd say we are a couple miles south of Wickenburg and stuff. So that's where I'm at, atop of Ultra Peak. You're going to see a couple of videos and sights and that sort of thing from the uh, from the adventure here. Uh, a couple things, right? You always want to be prepared. Watch my preparation video. It's really critical. Um, and then what do you expect? Well, you're going to have class one, right? Easy. Class two, you're going to have some incline. Then you're going to have a couple of class three spots. To get to the very top, you got to go class three. You got to scramble and literally rock climb without any ropes and stuff. So that's one thing to consider as well. Weather is gorgeous. Oh, it's overcast. The sun is hitting me a little bit, but it's absolutely beautiful. So great, great time of year to do this. Um, I did this hike because, well, it's always been on my list. It's Vulture Peak, right? It's one of the peaks that's just out there. I mean, it's one of those you drive by and you're like, wow, that's a weird looking peak. In fact, here's a picture right that's that's a pretty interesting view right there right what is it like to be on the top of that peak well boom here you go so uh that's why i did this today right um pretty fascinating area around here uh for sure so views are beautiful we've got i see four peaks i see uh superstitions i see the white tanks a lot of great sights around here so definitely enjoy that and then i met some great people uh dean tony um dean tony dylan and rebecca um, they're from Phoenix slash Oregon. Uh, they're awesome people. So hello to you. And I'm glad that we got to meet and talk a little bit. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, uh, but you come up here and, 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 uh, you, you, uh, the thing I love about this is there's a box. You sign your name and that sort of thing in the adventure. So that's how I, I know the names of those folks, but I get to meet them and they're just fantastic. So whenever you're hiking, even if you're alone, cause I hiked alone, um, there's always people around, right? There's always somebody and it's a one big happy family. So, all right, uh, it's a really fun adventure for sure. You're gonna sweat, you're gonna, it's a great workout. So it took me roughly 65 minutes to get to the top. So it'll take me about 50 to 60 minutes to get to the bottom. So plan for that. And of course, bring snacks, water, and that sort of thing. So anyway, enjoy the ride. Enjoy a couple of these other uh, videos and that sort of thing on the journey. But thanks for hiking with Pete, everyone. Be safe hiking, later. All right, hey everyone. Yep, I'm about, geez, I'd say three quarters of a mile to a mile in. You got Vulture Peak right behind me. Um, sharing with you that uh, the first part of the, the trail, not that difficult. It's um, some ups and downs, some definite um, elevation change, nothing too crazy. Um, at the uh, If you follow all trails, uh, you want to take the southerly route. So that points you toward the the end point, um, the northerly route brings you back. So just be mindful of that. I don't think it's a real big deal. I'm actually standing where the different, the two different trails intersect and bisect. And then if you look, kind of follow my finger, that's kind of the trail I'm going to be on. Pretty much a straight shot, it looks like. And then, and this is so some incline, and then you loop around and come in from the, from behind uh, to Vulture uh, Peak. So yeah, pretty nice so far. Weather's really moderate, uh, definitely overcast, some um, puffy white clouds, beautiful though, and we're gonna keep it trucking. So, all right, catch you later. Alrighty, so uh, we uh, got to this kind of point where you definitely have two trails uh, bisect, and then you come across kind of a parking area. It's not for regular cars, it's for ATVs, I think OHVs, that sort of thing. It's a, looks like a Polaris back there, pretty cool. So that means there's some hikers. And here's where I'm going, right up there. There you go, Vulture Peak, so. Okay, next time I talk, maybe I'm in a fun situation, who knows, or at the top, don't know, but. All right, let's go, look at the clouds. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, stop gawking and start walking. Catch you later. Okay, yeah, I'm breathy, I'm tired, but I'm almost there, yes! Yep, boom, top of Ultra Peak is just right there. In fact, I gotta go up that, I think. So a little sketch, you know, but it's fun, oh my god. So we're at the saddle, once you get up that initial elevation, boom. That's uh, that's like West Phoenix over there, okay? That's West Phoenix, Phoenix, etc. Look at the cloud cover, it's gorgeous. Yeah, 
Beautiful. In fact, I think, I think those are the white tanks right there. I think so. Um, and then off in the distance, yeah, I see Kemwak, Piestua. I see a lot of good stuff. Oh, that's four peaks. So I always like taking you on a journey, but yep, that's four peaks right there. That's four peaks. So pretty cool. And then of course, on the other side, you got the rest of the ranges and stuff all the way to California. Boom. Ah, okay. So one last stretch and I'll be at the top. Hello. What's up? Really? I was thinking the same thing. Is it your family? Okay, we're gonna make sure they cross straight for you, okay? Yeah, it is. Yep. And this is his family. Go ahead, guys. Bye.